Hey you, yeah you. Do you need help on ESO because you don't know what to do? Do you find yourself short on money? Or do you keep dying and finding out that you can't revive on the spot? Do you wonder why your DPS build isn't working out and are you generally new to the ESO? Then I've got some nice helpful tips for you. Before we start, I wanted to say that these tips are based on my own experience with the game and that the way you play it is all up to you. With this being said, let's get right into the video. Tip number one, before you do anything else and start assigning your skills attribute points in the wrong slots, start with checking what kind of build you want. You can do so by pressing K on your keyboard or going to the skills tab in your menu. After that, look for the left of your screen for the skills advisor list. This thing will inform you on what skills to morph and get. Also what kind of armor to wear and what attrib attribute points to increase. Don't be like me the first time and spend points on all sorts of random stuff. It's normal to see a build with only attribute points in stamina for example. Tip number two. Don't sell all your found equipment at once. Keep some on you and go for the blacksmith to break them down into parts. These parts are used to create your own armor and weapons later on in the game. If you don't have spare equipment at the moment, look for some places to steal them. Don't get caught though, because you need to pay a bounty and lose all the stolen goods you've got. Tip number 3. Don't teleport too much and too frequently to grey shrines, since this costs a lot of money. The amount will reduce over time though. Try to teleport to your friends instead, or use your home as a grey shrine. These are free of charge. Try to get a horse and use it as much as you can. You get one once you hit level 10. Tip number 4. Activate every single quest that you see. Quests tend to be close to each other. Doing this makes you more efficiently in leveling, making you level faster and with more ease. Try to finish all quests before proceeding to the next area. You can listen to the dialogues or speed through it like a hurricane, it's up to you. Tip number 5. Do not sell all your soul gems, these are needed to revive yourself and other players on the spot without having to go back to a wish shrine nearby. I know these things sell for quite some gold, but it's better to keep them. Also keep your empty gems since you can fill them with the soul tap skill. Everyone gets this skill for free. Well, those were my tips on how to play ESO, but keep in mind, this is a game that you can play just the way you like. These are just tips. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.